Hello everybody, Eric the Hop here, back with more Dark Souls 3. So in the last episode, we, we found our way, we went on the elevator, um, we found Sigvert, we fought with him, he's a badass with his onion armor. Um, we've kind of explored around, haven't found a bonfire yet, which again, I'm freaking really surprised about that. And we came here, where um, we have two options out of here. We can drop down there, which will, um, to be completely honest with you, probably kill us. Uh, I guess I could try jumping to there. And then dropping down, but again, like, I'm at half health right now, I have no Estus. Um, do I have anything that gives me, like, extra health? No heavy gem, cell key, fire surge, no, oh, speaking of keys, what do I have? That's, oh, I need to, I need to do shit with that, hold on, guys. Anyway, um, ah, uh, ah, uh, I don't know what to do here. It doesn't look like I have anything that's gonna, like, really save me. Um, yeah. Fuck. What do I... I don't... Shit. Uh, I, like, there's stuff down there. Probably good stuff. And there's a path out. And, um, oh, I think I actually know where this goes out. But I need to, like, live. <laughs> I don't... Okay. Come on, Eric. People don't watch for you to succeed, they watch for you to fail. At least that's why I think so. Ah! Oh, 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 buddy. If I die right here, I'm 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 not gonna do anything because I didn't die. Huh? Pillage remains. The uh something ring. A ring. Oh thank you for that. Uh ooh, we got armor set. Again, worth it. Nice guys. Let's see where this leads out. Aha! So we got up here. Okay. I doubt there's gonna be a, a bonfire anywhere here because this doesn't really lead anywhere. This is just kind of like a this is how you get up here sort of thing. Um. Okay. Okay. Not bad though. We're we're finding stuff, guys. We're 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 looting shit, finding roots, routes. Let me say that. I always have like I'm gonna say bold, but I I don't know. So. Okay. Um, so I guess we might as well use a homeward bone at this point, because, uh, we'll probably die if we try to get home another way. And plus, I want to head back to the Firelink Shrine to do some shit, actually. I'll show you guys. R okay, return the last bonfire rested at, or to Shrine. Uh, let's go ahead and use it. Uh, use. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the Shrine, actually. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go there. Uh, we found some, I mean, I don't know if it's like secret or anything, but it's cool, I think. Cool. Suck it. Alright, um, first thing is first, we're not gonna talk to you. Um, who are we gonna talk to actually? Actually, first, first thing is first, I need to attune some magic. Show you guys what I got. Pretty cool. A tune spell. See, I got um, this. We can sound like a spell. Okay, I got Fire Surge. Does emit a constant stream of fire. Only costs uh, two uh, focus points, I think they're called, which is magic. Um, and I'm assuming that's like two per second or something like that. And then we got uh, Create Powerful Giant Flame in Hand, and that's that's 20. So that's pretty. That's a powerful flame, um, and it's like almost double of the fireball, but you know what? Fuck it. So now we got that. Guys, isn't that cool? Um, okay, great combustion. Let's let's see what it does. I'm gonna like face this way so I don't do anything. Boom! That is pretty cool. All right, we got that. Um, actually, before I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tune the other spell. I want to see what that does. We'll go ahead and do fire surge. I want to see what this does. Fire surge. Yeah, that's that's two per second. Dude, I feel like a fucking wizard. It's awesome. Let me go ahead and uh, let me get fireball back though. I like fireball's range because I'm a I'm a I'm a what Dex what uh, no I'm not Dexter what uh, uh, the the what's that dictionary the Merriam Merriam Dexter Merriam Webster what well, that dictionary would define me as is um, a pushy. So I'm a. Okay, so what was I saying? Transpone and kiln make soul transposition possible. Okay. 
Now, I'm, if I'm right, we can use these souls, Soul of Boreal Valley Vor and Soul of the Rod Gatewood, the two souls that we got and we didn't get one from Gundur, looks like. Rubbish of no value and certainly no avail. Why do I have that? Um, <clears throat> so, we can use those souls to create stuff, if I am right. So let's go ahead and... Um, how do I use it, though? It's a question. Because I know um, with those souls, you can either you can crush them to gain more souls, which I don't want to do. Um, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the Googles and figure this out one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I'm supposed to get to Ludlith to enable uh, soul transposition or whatever. Um, which I believe is that guy sitting on the throne, if I remember correctly from talking to him. I went, ooh, who are you? I don't... I'm gonna talk to you. Unkindled, are we? Yes, you look like someone out of Bloodborne, honestly. With that hat. Yep. Then these red eyes are for you. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. Oh. Kindled ashes good for. I think that's for like <laughs> PvP stuff. Which uh, I need to do that on this channel too. I need to do some PvP. Um, and die terribly. Let's talk to this guy. Not, not. So I think this is Ludlith. Okay. Are you? Someone built your throne way too big, buddy. Ah, yep. Give transpose and kill to the Ludlith of Coolland. Yes. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. You are right, my chef. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry it's not perfect, okay? I got it off a tree. Now, Literally. Now, to me a twisting soul. Transposition is the art oh, of okay. extracting and coalescing the, the essence, essence of a soul. soul. That's interesting. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Okay. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. This is true. What's to fear? In a little transposition. Nothing, apparently. Begin transposition. Oh! Cool. I. I. What? Ah. Oh, that is. Soul of a demon, soul of boreal fort. Sold the rod great wood, sold the rod great wood, so you can store spear, hollow slayer's great sword, pontiff's left eye. Well, from Vort, uh, it looks like he just gives me the freaking uh, hammer, which um, I don't think I'm gonna really use. Uh, yeah, it's 30 strength. I'm not gonna be building that up. Uh, recovers HP with succeeded. Oh, oh yes, yes. That will be that will be useful. That that's useful. That's gonna I, I, if I'm right. Uh, Jesus, if I'm right, that's gonna like kind of be like the Bloodborne thing of a jig where you fight people and you, you live. Um, Pontiff's left eye. Yep, we're we're doing that. Nice. Okay, so we did that. Um, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay, I remember, I remember, I remember. Um, so, we're gonna travel. Okay, so we went up there and we, we went and talked to the, okay, I actually wanna try to get those items on the bridge. We talked to the guy, the, the giant who was hurling the, the I guess they're arrows, I mean, they freaking, they're harpoons in my book, but we went and talked to that guy. And, uh, well, we talked to him, so hopefully he's, uh, he's not gonna huck stuff at us anymore. Um, which should give us time to safely kill all those enemies and then get all the loot there. Um, because who knows, there might be, uh, something useful. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. Run over there. This is all coming together, folks. Oh, he almost got me in the back, so right there. But not quite. Oh! Oh, he got me in the back, but oh, 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 Jesus! I got too, too cocky. Too cocky. Oh man. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Anyway, okay. Um. Okay, so this guy should stop hucking stuff at us. 
I'm looking at you in the tower. Jesus. Okay. This is a moment of truth. All right. He's he's being a, okay. You gonna throw stuff at me? I see him. He's hurling up. Is he is he aiming for me? I'm looking at it. Okay. I'm gonna watch him. I, you can see him off in the distance hugging something. Is that is that coming for me? I don't think so. Okay, I think yeah, I think he's just aiming for them now, which is which is useful. But I'm gonna go ahead and wait for him to finish that. That looks like it's coming for me actually. Nope, nope, it's still it's still going for them. Thanks, buddy. No, nope, you're still gonna go. All right. Okay, I guess he's just hugging in the same position now. Wait, God, uh, gotta be careful. Uh, I'm honestly worried. Okay, I think he's. Yeah, okay, he's just gonna... Oh, nice! Okay, he's just gonna kill the enemies for me. So I don't need to worry about it. That's nice. I just have to be careful that he doesn't freaking murder me. But we can go ahead and... Oh, we got white branches. Wow, what do these white branches do? Something useful? Maybe? Do I have to jump up there? No, I'm about to jump over here. Um, first, before I do that, though, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of this shit. I actually did not see what that was. Um, let's kind of go around here. Oh, that's useful. Now he... Ah, oh, I don't have to worry about all his people. That's nice of him. Oh, this goes back pretty far. Mordekin's Ashes. Okay. Don't know. Can't remember who Mordekin is. If, you've, uh, if he was in the previous Dark Souls game, so go ahead. <laughs> I don't see what I got, but... Die. I'll have to look at that. I have to look at the armors I've been getting because I have not been doing so. I am not very effective at looking at what I get. Maybe. So I think I got the majority of all that. Um, so let's go ahead and jump over here and grab this item. All right. Yep. Yeah, looks like we gotta do a running jump. What's this? Arrows of a giant rain down beside the white birch. How And heavy up. There we go. Let's grab this. Undead bone shard. Um, oh, I got skewered. All right, nice. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, since we're kind of under protection of that uh, giant at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check out what I got. So we got all these weapons. Um, forget them. Uh, they're lame, lame. All right, so we got this stuff. Um, actually, I need to look at equipment because equipment will actually compare it. So, better against magic, not so much against, uh, not so much against, uh, other worldly things. Uh, that's actually, that's not bad. Weaker against fire and dark and curse. It's heavier, ooh, it's a bit heavier too, but, ah, I'm still good. Um, weaker against fire, magic, and dark. Ah. Cleric, blue robe. Uh, higher durability. Higher weight, but just uh, it's it's oh well it's improvements and resistances are very good so I'm actually gonna go ahead and don't that um that's that's shit um uh, also really high resistance but I um, don't I forget that um nope uh ah uh, no and yeah, no okay. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Uh, but this should help us a bit. Look, why am I carrying like a freaking turtle shell on my back? Okay, um, let's uh, let's go back over here. Uh, what time at? You know, guys, actually, I am running out of time, so I think I'm gonna have to end the episode here. Um, so it doesn't look like a, a whole lot happened here. But we did we did find some stuff. We uh, we got some of the items. We got some new equipment. Um, we got new sorceries, we got a transposing kiln, Dude, we got, we got, we got shit for days, people. Um, so, you know, not bad, productive day in my opinion. Um, so if you watch this video, uh, please give it a like. If you want to see more, wait, wait, what am I saying? No, I need to remember what I'm saying. If you watch this video, thank you so much. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more, please don't hesitate to subscribe. And if you want to, if you want to help the channel grow, go ahead and share. If you want to help the channel grow, go ahead and share your favorite video with family and friends. Uh, thanks again for watching, and you all have an amazing day.